And welcome everybody. This is Star Battle Tournament NA9, the Grand Finals. This is Artemis and with me. With me. With me. <laughs> Bozo Cat. Sorry. <laughs> I'm having trouble with the loading screen. Off no worries. Uh, Bozo Cat's my awesome textual co caster. This is going to be Undivided Eclipses versus Cyberdyne Team A. Both of them got through their semifinals in two games, so pretty decisive matches, and we're going to hope we have an excellent and exciting finals for you guys. Spawning in the bottom, we have Eclipsis with a strong double five-spine guardian open in the middle, double levy. Eclipsis has been playing that a lot lately. A Raven, support EMP, and a five-armor Destro. From the top, we have a bit more of a grab bag from Cyberdyne. Five-armor Destroyer, BC, opening five missile for the extra damage. A ranged guardian, uh, constant mutation, levy on the bottom, arbiter, opening storm, and a 4-3 carrier on the top. And here's the initial encounter, and thanks Bozo for typing out the stuff. So initially Eclipses does have, now this Eclipses does have to go in a bit f closer because they're not a range comp. Cyberdyne will be able to kite here. Bit of a storm here just pushing back. I think that was a little bit of a waste of storm by Ladanian but did push Beggy back a bit. Luigi doing a launch to the center, really trying to help the center win early on. The two storms barely making any damage. Kill you trying to get EMPs off, is able to get one off on the BC. And already, just near two minutes in the game, computer's already in the yellow, whereas Beggy Ice, in comparison, is already still got shields, Eclipses is still very healthy. Mind you, Ladinian can switch to do transfer. Bit of a storm there, nice. He's catching the bit of the edge of the Guardians. At the bottom, we have Shepig versus Zin. Shepig is currently already at his armor and one, his armor and four tenths. Zin has not had a chance to upgrade, looking like he's taking a bit of damage. Clips is pushing hard in the center. And Luigi facing off with War Alistair. It's an interesting matchup up there in the top lane. And yep, Shepig's actually already at his nine range, so he can. He's already got the bit of a one-off at the beginning. Bunch of interesting matchups here, folks. Unfortunately, only one screen. So we'll just have to try to catch everything. Any initial thoughts, Bozo? Um, the, both of the support ships have been running scared. Killer U has yet to successfully EMP Ladinian, but Ladinian's been wasting his storms on the Guardians who just regenerate. So overall, the supports have been... Uh, playing it very, very safe, and, and not getting in each other's faces to mess with each other. Yep. I feel like Josh would be playing more aggressively. He's at full health, and his, his Acid Spore has not been on Baggy Ice as much as it could have been. Yep, he could be Which tanking for Rookie. Had the back first. Rookie not getting his, uh, trying to kite, but not getting uh, his whistle off, unfortunately, with the shorter range of the five missiles. You have to dive a bit, and he's just hesitant to do so. Computer warping in on Zin. Zin was down in the orange. Computer helping to push a pig back. Now, computer pushing on Killer U, just trying to help his levy in the side lane. Almost even upgrades, so Shepig has an extra armor. Shepig also has 200 extra minerals. He's just saving up for that rapid regen. Gonna go back early. Killer U starting to transfer on Beggy Ice, who's taking hull damage. But overall, the Eclipse Center looking pretty healthy. Ladanian will have a storm coming soon. He's able to get it off on Beggy Ice's hull. That would be the ideal for Cyberdyne. And the up here, Luigi pushing very heavily on War Alistair. Going to have to play it a bit careful in case Cyberdyne decides to cut up. But at this point, they're fairly weak. Computer's already in the orange. Luigi diving in. Eclipse is pushing on Rookie. but not pursuing that any further. Both the Leviathans down here at the bottom, looking orange. Zin starting to upgrade his bile, now at 10 range. So he now outranges Shepig, Shepig going back for rapid regen. Yeah, they couldn't take advantage of Beggy being lower on health. Let's take a quick Shepig look at the farm. farm. He's giving Killer U access to the bottom lane while he goes and upgrades rapid regen. Yep, and that's a good idea. doesn't speak English, but he's still a good communicator. 
<laughs> Communicates with pings and by Shapig killed so and so. <laughs> That's the most communication I have with Shapig, generally in game. But yeah. Yep. Nope. In Star Battle, it's all dominated by Team Speak, but it, you can still do it even if you don't speak that much. If, as long as you can hear the team, you can do pretty well in coordinating. Yep, take Zin taking the advantage and farming it up a little bit. Zin's now at 141 farms. Your pig's at 131 because he had to back off. Kill Yu's now catching up, getting a little bit more. Sound of bots, folks. That's Beggy coming out with bots. Computer got went back and just didn't get any lasers. Just got more. Actually, he did. He just start. No, he got more. He has six armor right now. Oh, computer's actually, sorry, computer started with six armor, but now Cyberdyne is starting to rotate back and upgrade. The Guardian still has not done so. Now we have not seen the Eclipsus Guardians upgrade yet, so we'll have to see what they're doing. Luigi's going back in. Shapig is now back out. Instead of Rapid Regen, got Corruptors. So Shapig is going to be pushing Corruptor play. The witch will help him farm once he initially gets going. I don't know what level those corruptors are. Cyberdyne warping in. Looks like possibly on Ladanian. Nope, warping in on Warlaster. Nope, sorry, just Ladanian up top. They're going to be pushing a bit, just jumping across the map. Now one thing that you notice here is that sometimes when teams they go out, they upgrade, they come back, they are leaking f they leak farm, but Cyberdyne did not leak any farm here because they left a ship or two out. Here come the corruptors from Shipig. War Alistair coming out with level twelve interceptors. Starting to harass Shipig. Maybe forced to get more tents and rather than upgrade his energy for corruptors. Yeah, he's, really, he's really starting to get beat up on this, and he doesn't have rapid regen. In comparison, Zin has rapid regen, already down at 4 battle 10 range. So, by taking a hit, by going for Corruptors, the, la the Eclipse's Leviathan did fall back a little bit. In contrast, Luigi's coming out with Acid Spray for the Interceptors and rapid regen. Parasite, uh, looks like we're going to get a, par a single Parasite from Eclipsis. We'll see what their target is, possibly Ladanian. Beggy Ice warping in. Just the basics, hull and la hull, lasers. Big bit of a push here on War Alistair. But in just a push, not going for a kill at this point. Yeah, Beggy is incredibly poor right now. Well, actually, he just crossed 100, so he and Killer you are tied for the lowest amount of farm, but he really needs to have the opportunity to go out to the outside lane and get some farm. Rookie from the uh, Cyberdent side is going for missiles. Looks like the decision from Eclipsis will have to be if Cyberdyne is pushing for missiles from... Zin and Rookie, are they going to have to go get PDDs? Bit of a push here on Computer, who's already in the orange. Ladanian got EMP'd and had no energy and was EMP'd. Not going to be able to storm the ball, but Eclipsis sh will not be able to maintain this. There's too much of a risk of a turn. And there's the turn. Turning on Luigi, though, he is at full health. Rookie, not, not with any shields. He should back off and let his shields regen. And now the Corruptors are starting to take crosses in. Shapig launching, backing off. Killer you EMPing Zen for lack of anyone else to EMP at the moment. And it also disrupts his rapid regen. So thanks Bozo for the farm. It's 1454 for Eclipsis and 1277 for Cyberdyne. So Eclipse is getting a bit of the early advantage and with Corruptors, if it, if Pig has continued to allow to farm with those Corruptors, you could be seeing that farm differential widen. Warster warping in, starting to wipe out the ends level 14 war and uh, warp in Interceptors now. So he'll be able to launch more frequently.
force fields out by Ladanian, which is going to help against the bile, any bile from Eclipse's discouraging going that direction. Should pig already at 500 energy, but he's going to need to get a heck of a lot more in order to spawn, spawn corruptors as often as he needs to. Luigi going for armor t an armor tent build to counteract the in interceptors. And launching on Killer U, which is going to be stripping off his shields. Zin's now switched to the top lane. Again, sort of farming uncontested while everyone's busy in the center. Shepig following. Following Shepig around, like it's his only job in the world is to prevent Shepig from getting farmed up. And that's actually a really good game strategy. Indeed. Shepig's only at set. Uh, Shepig's only at seven tents. He was forced to buy into it's tents. Fourteen interceptors with all installs. It's it's tough to be Shepig right now. Yep. Eventually, those corruptors will get big enough to shoot down arbitrary numbers of interceptors, but they're not there yet. Yeah. And this will slow down by by slow by slowing down Shepig getting a lot farm, which is basically Eclipse strategy. <laughs> Shepig gets really big and then uh, kills people. Um, by slowing him down, harassing the levy with the corruptors, um, a Cyberdyne buys themselves time to get their other ships upgraded. Bit of bit of a push here on computer. Switched over to rookie. But not a, not going to be able to make that a kill. Rookie was almost at the towers. Wave of corruptors coming in here, but most of them are going to expire. Cyberdyne going back to upgrade. Eclipse is going back. If you have a warp check, it also just to get their next set of installs. Oh, Rookie has cut off uh, Lars and. Oh Becky. wow. Very nice. I hate the dark purple because I can't see it on the mini map as well. You're right. Zin cutting them off. BC got, Rookie got scanned, so they knew exactly where Eclipsis was. Nice warp trick by Cyberdyne. Beggy doing a fabulous job of walling off the more frontal Guardians. Yep, the Guardians are, the Guardians are alright. In this case, Shepig has already gotten ha some health upgrades, and Luigi, whichever, after regen, stayed behind. So, a good recovery by Eclipsis, but excellent warp trick, and I didn't even see that, <laughs> by Cyberdyne. Dusk pushing with Corrosive Acid. Computer just going strictly for st standard armor build. Computer's up to 1.61 speed now. Yeah, In so general, pretty the speedy. The speed that the enemy team needs to be is the speed of the destroyer. The destroyer determines what speed it is scary to be at. Because when the destroyer turns on you, if that's you when you can't dislodge the interceptors, you can't yep. get damage on the enemy DPS ships and so forth. You want to be able to shake the destroyer off. And actually, the parasite, I, I missed this. I noted someone had parasite, but I didn't know who went on. There's a parasite on Ladanian. So Eclipsis possibly knew that warp trick was coming. No, Ladanian was at base. They may not have known where Zen was at the time. But Kill You getting, starting to get hammered by the interceptors. Level 16 now. Eclipsis having to just devote its energy to keeping its raven alive. Kill You is definitely going to have a bit of a hard time with that. In contrast, though, um, Cyberdyne doesn't have as powerful an option for energy deny. They do have lockdown. They could get feedback, but not the ideal. The waves of corruptors now coming out of Pig, 625 energy. Big push on War Alistair, but there's not enough of people in the area to finish it off. Yep. Now, Cyberdyne taki taking a little bit of a turn here, turning to push as well. Zinn starting to look pretty dangerous with his 10 bile and uh, with no counters to him yet. He only has to worry about the corruptors and farming it up as he just increases his damage and maybe we'll end up getting a little bit more armor to help handle the corruptors. More interceptors. Zinn is out of position, but Zinn is 1.7. There's no way Eclipses can capitalize on that. Yeah. Oh, he may just be noting the potential warp trick. I don't think it would be a good idea for them to warp trick, given how low on health they are. No, I agree. Rookie's constantly on low health. He's better. He better get defensive shield on his next back, because he's just getting pounded over and over. He does have nine range, but he's getting hit a lot. I've never seen him with the shields up. Bit of a cross of acid on Beggy, just trying to discourage a push.
Cyberdyne staggering back some upgrades. Zin staying out. Warlaster doing a very quick upgrade and warp out. Warping in on the levy. Now level 17 is one back for just a quick single upgrade. Blackout by Killer U on Warlester. War Alistair? Blech. <laughs> on the carrier. Effectively discouraging the ints. Will also be useful at discouraging the Destro or the BC or the Arbiter later, so. It's a conscious decision to ignore the threat of Bile from Zin not getting PDDs. But at this point, I th the Interceptors and Warlester have been causing more issues. It's amazing watching the amount of damage these five upgrade corruptors are starting to do whenever Cyberdyne pushes among them. Uh, Zinni in particular has no life upgrades and only two armor, and so he takes a lot of damage when he pushes in. He's devoted himself purely to offense, trusting in his Arbiter buddy to keep him alive. Yep. And that's what support is. That's the definition. Well, turns on Zin. Zin's in Whoa. Trouble. Zin, rapid r Zin hits his rapid regen, but it looks like Eclipses may try to stay here for the kill. Ladania can't do anything to help but Luigi force back as he's in the orange. Luigi only has one life upgrade and five armor, so he's not that much more tanky. Yep. Best to play it a bit conservative, because Eclipses does have the late game option of the Corruptors. While well, Esther trying to clean up the Corruptors on the outside with his ints. He's able to use a little bit of a leaking of farm on the top by Eclipses, and they may end up catching that. EMPs on Rookie, that's maybe that's actually the reason Rookie has no shields, because Killer U is denying them. But Rookie constantly at no shields and ha maybe half HP. Eclipse is pulling back now. Cyberdyne taking and the no advantage to farm up. Yeah, no bile still, you're right. He's not, re he's not regening fast enough. If you're a BC player, folks, after 15 minutes or something, 20 minutes, you start to become very delicate. So get your bio steel, get your defensive shield, if you can. Warping by Eclipsis at the top, putting applying pressure there. Cyberdyne may just take this opportunity to go back and farm up. They have 400, 100, 200 minerals. Let's. We actually haven't taken a look at the farm in a while. Let's do that. Six six Eclipsis, Cyberdyne 2500, 2600 for Eclipsis, and at 2200, almost 23. For Cyberdyne, so Eclipses still maintaining their lead. Push here by Zen on Killer U. Killer U uh -oh. in the orange. In a lot of trouble. They're turning to exchange to try to pick off Zen. Killer U turns back in. I'm not sure why. Zen goes down by Shapig. Computer out as far as possible so that they can kill computer as well. Shapig lays down a mess of corruptors and sends the corruptors towards computer. Computer is blacked out. Chapig is pinging madly, saying, come, let, let's kill this destroyer. Where is he? I don't see it. There. Looks like Eclipse is going to try to go with the kid. They're going to get War Alistair right here. There goes War Alistair. Next up is Ladanian. Ladanian's really low. But Ladanian may make it out of this. 500. Ladanian lives with 570. Oh, yeah, and here's the chase scene. I was missing. I couldn't find computer. <laughs> oh, computer's in a lot of trouble with this corruption. Yeah, Eclipse just needs to warp back. Computer's going down here. She pigs in full health. Per shot. The armor cannot help against that. But he's holding out a long time. And there goes computer. And the GG, folks. Wow, that was a pretty fast game one of for the grand finals. Any th other th any thoughts, Bozo? Uh Eclipsis uh played quite a bit better in that first push, doing a lot of damage to the destroyer while not receiving any damage to their destroyer. And if you win the first push with double levy, it is an, an easy walk down the hill, whereas the other guys have to shove that boulder back up. Yeah, and I think actually, mo I haven't actually seen a lot of corruptors re corruptor use lately, but I think that was actually a wise choice. Um, it, I mean, it was a bit of a risk because Shipik was getting hammered, but as long as he stayed back, um, there wasn't much Cyberdyne could do, especially once the corruptors got upgraded. But I think, yeah, Cyberdyne lost those in that initial confrontation push. They were taking way too much damage there, and so that hurt their center. The nice thing about the Corruptors is it was good against the Carrier, and it was also good against the Leviathan. So that no matter which way they switched, War Alistair had trouble. Mm -hmm. Yep, I think that's a good way of putting it.
So this was game one, folks. Artemis and Bozo Cat casting. So Undivided Eclipses takes the game. We're going to be going to game two. And I'm sure Cyberdyne will have something interesting in store because they need to regain, well, retain their honor as they won the last tournament. Catch you all later.